everyone, Steve from Survivor here with the Capitol Hill Collectibles Guide. This is in Seattle, day one with Ellie, uh, and it's a fairly big chapter, so let's get going. You'll notice that there's a bunch of kind of sections where you can kind of find everything in one area, so you might not get these in exactly the right order. The first one that you'll see, though, is in this blue house beyond the uh, school. It has a number three on the front of it, and you'll find your first trading card in the drawer. Now round about in that same area, you're going to encounter this uh, apartment with a pool beside it. It's number six. Uh, once you enter, you'll notice a pool of blood. There will be an enemy There's up blood. the top of the stairs from the direction behind you, from this room. Uh, and in that same very room, you'll find your first artifact. Now the next set of things are going to be in the nearby inn. Uh, or motel, depending on how you want to look at it. Uh, if you go to the left, around the back of the inn, near that WLF sign, you'll notice that there are a couple office. open windows. If you jump Probably through no the first, the you'll sure find hmm. your first item, which is another trading card. Now on the other side of the inn or the motel, you'll notice an apartment block just to the side. You need to move that green uh, rubbish bin from the right so you can actually climb up. And you'll notice that the first document you'll find is right here in the kitchen. <laughs> now in that same room, it's not a collectible uh, per se, but if you go into the bedroom, you will find a new set of... Uh, gear and a recipe that matches so if you go into this room on the left hand side you'll find it right here can't remember if that's the stun or the trip bomb but it's one of them <laughs> now next once you get uh, a little bit beyond this there's uh, an encounter and then probably another encounter more? here you'll get to the service station no. If you go into the garage area, you'll find your first of two workbenches. You were solid back there. Now, a little bit further down uh, in the gay and lesbian bookstore and transgender, the GL LGBTQ plus bookstore, that's a better way of putting it, uh, you will find a couple things. There are, there's a couple in the same room, which is in the coffee house, uh, just on the left hand side. First thing that we're going to pick up is a training manual for stealth. These WLF guys went up against the military over a decade ago. Why are they still so amped? Now directly there behind be that, that in the little coffee shop area, counter area, there is an artifact on the back. And just off to the rooms to the back uh, of the coffee shop area, so there's where the artifact was, uh, you'll find another trading card just in this left-hand corner. It's all about trading cards right now. The next one is in... The Olive Street grocery store, you can get into it via the ground floor down the stairs to the right, or like I just did, you can jump into the hole in the wall, or the roof, I should say. Uh, in the back area, you will find a trading card in this locker. The second last trading card is once you progress a, a ways, you'll get to this area where there's trip mines and you'll see some infected um, taking some out. There's a liquor store just on the left. If you check the backhand corner, you'll find the fifth of six trading cards. Now once you carefully progress through this area, you'll get to this bit here where you're meant to just go down into this kind of valley type area. But before you do, look to the right. This. Head up the nearby ladder and grab an artifact. A rather risque one, I might add. <laughs> 
Now, a couple more artifacts are next when you progress just through that valley and you get to this uh, you know, piece of graffiti. Uh, look into the container of the truck uh, near it. There's an artifact inside. And then to continue on, you'll kind of head off to the right and you'll get to this area with the martial arts uh, facility and a whole bunch of, of trip mines, so be careful. Uh, the next artifact is on the bulletin board in the dojo. Now from there, there is a nearby workbench. Just hang a left and look into this room on the side. Now your last trading card is a little ways up. It's just kind of to the left of that dojo. There's this uh, thrift store on the left-hand side and you'll find the trading card along the left-hand set of shelves. Now also in this thrift store, near the back of the building, you will find your last artifact, which also gives you the combination of the single safe that's in this chapter. Um, so it's asking for Stacy's number. You'll find Stacy's number nearby in uh, the bathroom along the wall as graffiti. For a good time, call her. So in case you're interested, we'll just point out what that is, and then we will take you to the safe. And the combination is 550133. So there's the combination. The safe's just around the corner. So 550133, that will unlock all the goodies inside. That will do it for this chapter, and we'll see you for the next one, which is Seattle Day 1, Channel 13.